Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Prestige CEO webinar series. My name is Shannon Shaw. I am Operations Supervisor at Prestige PEO and your host this morning. Today, we will be reviewing our new voluntary benefits offerings from MetLife. I'm joined by Keith Bush, MetLife Senior Account Executive, and Susanna Nikach, Product Director at MetLife Aura. Our webinar viewers are automatically muted, but we encourage you to utilize the chat feature for any questions you may have. If your question is not answered, we will follow up with you shortly after the webinar concludes. The webinar is also being recorded and will be posted on our Open Enrollment Resource Center at www.prestigepeo.com slash open enrollment so that you can refer to it at any time. And now I wanna turn over the mic to Keith Bush who will keep, kick off our presentation. Thank you and Susanna for joining us. Thank you, Shannon, and, and good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking the time uh, this morning to join us to learn a little more about the new uh, MetLife voluntary benefits that are being uh, rolled out for the open enrollment for November 1st. As was mentioned, I'm a senior account executive at MetLife uh, and will be, I've uh, been with MetLife for 21 years um, and work with the Prestige team on all the MetLife benefits and the design of these new programs. And again, excited for an engaging discussion. We also have Susanna with me from, uh, who's a product director uh, with us at the MetLife side on for our Aura and identity theft protection product. Um, but just from a way of agenda, uh, from a batting order, so to speak, uh, we'll be kicking things off and leading off with the Davis Vision offering, um, and then we'll get into the MetLife Aura Identity Theft and Fraud Protection product. And last but not least, we'll close things out with the MetLife Pet Insurance product. At the end of each section, we will pause um, and stop to answer any questions we receive through the chat and also open it up uh, if anyone has any live questions. But again, this, this time is for you, and we want to give you enough information so you can make informed decisions around these new benefit offerings uh, for yourselves and your family. Okay. So when an individual thinks about vision insurance, you naturally go to your, your, your eyewear, right? The, your, 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 your glasses, your contact lenses, but often is forgot about um, is a, a, a vision exam and the importance of that. Um, and believe it or not, actually eye doctors are often the first to diagnose serious underlying chronic medical conditions um, that can be diagnosed through a routine um, routine eye exam. Uh, there's over 30 plus conditions that can be diagnosed. And, and why are eye doctors the first to diagnose that? Well, well uh, one, employees are, are three times more likely to get an eye exam in a year than to get their annual, uh, their annual medical checkup um, because folks are, are, are often scared about going to the doctor, getting prodded, pricked, et cetera. Um, so it, it, it's, again, an individual is three times more likely to get that annual exam, which can lead to um, early treatment, healthier lives, and really controlling your, your long-term medical costs. So vision has that correlation to the medical side as well, along with, of course, um, savings on, on that eyewear that you, the eyewear needs that you have on a year-to-year -year basis. Okay, so the new MetLife Davis Vision program, MetLife uh, acquired Davis Vision a couple of years ago um, and um, is a, we're a leading vision provider in the United States and under the Davis network, we have 22 million uh, individuals admit, uh, insured under the Davis network with an extremely high satisfaction rate of over 97% of high member satisfaction under the plan. And when you're talking about a vision network, you want to make sure that you have access um, to take advantage of that in-network care to maximize the plan. Unlike medical, uh, vision, uh, vision plans usually see about 98 to 99% of employees going in-network. Why is that? Is that the in-network benefits are much, much stronger and employees are more likely to, are willing to change a vision provider to make sure that they get that in-network benefit. And with the Davis Vision, you're getting the latest lens technology and innovative uh, products from the Selsler and, and Shamir and, and Kodak lenses, which is some of the most advanced uh, lens technology in the industry. Okay, so with the Davis Network, you're getting a great mix of independent providers and retail providers. Four of the top five major uh, national retailers are in network with the Davis Vision program, which we'll talk to in a second, but you're getting that nice mix 
of one of the largest independent uh, network of, of independent providers and great access to some of the top retailers across the country. We see across the industry about 50% of employees go to the retail side, 50% go to independent contracts. So, so it's important in any vision, uh, in any vision carrier or, or offering you're looking at to ensure that that network fits for you. So some of the most popular retail chains that are a part of uh, the Davis network are America's best contacts and eyeglasses, Costco, Pearl Vision, Target, Sam's Club, Vision Works, Walmart, all are in network participating providers that you could access if you're enrolled in the plan. So again, we're seeing four of the five top major retailers are a part of the network. And also in addition to the independent and retail providers, we're growing our online retailers as well. Currently, we have VisionWorks, 1-800-CONTACTS, Glasses.com, and Befitting.com, and we're in the process of negotiating a couple other online retailers as well. So growing that out and giving you, as, an, as, a, as a member, the choice of going to that independent provider, retail, and also, um, also the online space as well. And you're always going to have a wide selection of lenses, frames, and add-ons through our exclusive collection, which we'll talk through on the next slide. And one of the biggest differentiators I, of the, our Davis network and that are unique to the Davis network and different than any other carrier that you may have vision insurance through or have in the past is there's some really strong cost control features that you do not see with any other carrier. Um, and one of those is our, the exclusive collection. So anytime you go to an in-network provider, you're going to have the ability to access what is called the exclusive collection, where you're getting over to about 222 different options to choose from, designer, fashion, premier frames, the 20, 222 options that are a part of the exclusive collection that is going to allow you to only pay for your material copay and not have to pay anything from an out-of-pocket expense. And I'll talk about how that works here in a second, but that is really going to help control your cost and really uh, get the most value out of the plan if you access one of those exclusive collection brands. But by no means do you, are you forced there. You can get any frame or contact lens that you, uh, any frame that you want that's in the store that's available, um, but there is this exclusive collection that's going to give you additional savings uh, that you do not typically see with any of the other carriers. There's also a one-year breakage warranty at no additional cost for any frame that you get uh, under the Davis plan. So I have a six-year-old son who got glasses for the first time last week, and I do not have any faith that those are going to last uh, for, for more than six months. So to have that one-year breakage is a great way, again, to control costs, which you typically do not see in the rest of the industry. Um, you can try on frames virtually with a number of the online providers we talked about. We add new styles every year to this exclusive collection, and also you're getting obviously the new styles that are out there for any, anything that's in inventory at the provider that you're going to. Some of the exclusive uh, brands that are under Lucky Brand, Grant, uh, Gant, um, Perry Ellis, Candies, and, and much more, there are some of the high fashion, uh, high fashion um, brands that you, that you know and have come to, come to love. So one in two of us need some sort of corrective eyewear um, and, are, and are accessing that today. And why vision may make sense to you is if you have corrective eyewear needs, vision insurance makes a lot of sense because you're going to save hundreds of dollars on an annual year basis, okay? Um, just using this example of average retail cost, if you just went into a retail provider and you got that exam that, that – that eye exam, you're looking on average, nationwide average, $154, depending upon if it's a high cost area, which many of us may live in, those, those amounts are gonna be higher without insurance. If you then went uh, under the Davis Vision Plan, all you have to pay is your $10 copay for that eye exam, and then nothing else out of pocket. Your frames, if you went to one of the exclusive collections, as I referenced before, the average frame from a retail that's in the exclusive collection is $180. You would have a $25 copay, and nothing out of pocket for any of those that are in the exclusive collection, okay? One-year breakage warranty, some, sometimes you can add that on, some allow that, some don't even offer that, but if they do, we see the average is about a $30 additional cost for that one-year breakage guarantee for any, any frame that you get um, under in the Davis plan, 
is going to have that one-year breakage warranty and can be completely covered. So in this example, as an employee, you would have saved more than 90% of your total cost, uh, $329 uh, in this example. Okay. So now we'll go through the benefit summary, so to speak, the high-level overview of what the plan covers, how it works, the frequency of how often you can get your frames, contact lenses, et cetera. Okay. Um, you have two vision options. There's a low and a high plan, both under the Davis network, and I'll talk through what those differences are between the low and high plan. A lot of similarities, but there's a few differences that are worth highlighting that make it of the high and low plan. Your eye exam, as I mentioned before, I'm going to spend a lot about in-network coverage because out-of-network coverage is, again, 98% of employees plus are going to be using in-network care but I will also give you an idea of what the added network coverage is as well. So eye exam, $10 copay. Um, you went out of network for that same, there's going to be a $45 allowance. What does the allowance mean? Any dollar amount on top of that allowance, so if they charged you $200 for that eye exam, $45 would be allowed. Anything on top of $45 would be 100% out of pocket um, for you to, to, to pay at the register uh, when you got that eye exam. So the difference in that example, 200 to $45, is, is what you would be paying from an out-of-pocket expense if that was, again, that was a made-up example, but just to give you an idea of how the, how the math works, okay? You can get the eye exam every once every year for every person that's on the plan. If you have a child, though, that's under 18, they even can get an additional exam. So let's just say something happened where the, the, the eyewear, whether it's uh, contacts or whether it's the frames and lenses, for some reason that child, something is changing because it happens over time, right? Your, your vision can change over time. So that prescription changes. So in those situations, that, in, that um, child would be covered for an additional exam. So they get that once every year, but a child under 18, they can get that additional exam as well. The materials and eyewear, there's a copay. So your, your materials and eyewear, that's going to be your contacts, that's going to be your frames and, and your standard corrective lenses. You pay $125 copay if you're getting your frames, and then we'll talk about how that's covered afterwards. Uh, out of network, it's not, a, it's not applicable. There's going to be an allowance depending upon what you're getting, and we'll talk through that on the next slide. But let's talk about the frequency. How often can you get glasses? How often can you get contacts? Well, in the high plan, what's great is you're going to have access each year to both contacts and frames every year. So you can get both, okay? What we commonly see in the vision industry is that you will see you'll able to get one or the other, either your contacts or your frames in a given year. So on the low plan, you can get frames every 24 months and contacts, but you can't be the same year as contacts. So if you can get your frames one year, the next year you can get the contacts, and that's what would be allowed per that frequency. But even on the low plan, if you have a child under 18, they can get both in the same year, okay? Standard corrective lenses, the lenses that's going inside your frame, those are gonna be covered after material, uh, your material copay, so you paid your $25 copay for your frames, uh, and your lenses, and your standard lenses would be covered after that copay. Out of network, there's gonna be a dollar allowance depending upon what type of lens that you have. A dollar allowance is gonna change depending upon what is chosen. Um, and then anything, any charge that's in addition to that, amount that's greater than the allowance would be 100% out of pocket in those out of network situations. You can get the lenses every 12 months. Okay, so what's covered from a frame allowance? Uh, we talked about how the allowance works, right? So allowance is that, that dollar amount, so if you're charged a certain amount, the allowance, anything under that amount is going to be covered after you paid your material copay of $25, right? So you get up to an allowance amount. On the high plan, it's $175 per year after you pay your materials copay, and then $130 on the low plan. I talked about the differences. This is one of the differences between the high and low plan. The, the, the differences are going to really be the two things here, the frequency of being able to get glasses and contacts every year and the allowance, that allowance, that allowable amount. Um, anything on top, you would be paying from uh, you would be paying 100% out of pocket. Let me give an example. You do not go to the exclusive collection because we'll get to that in a second, which we've talked through. You're just going to get a frame that's outside of that exclusive collection. You would have that allowance amount, 
and it, let's just say the, the frames that you want are $250, okay? You would have, if you're on the high plan, $175 allowance, so it'd be, the balance would be $75 in that case. Now, you get a 20% discount for anything above the allowable amount. So in this example, $75 difference between 175 and 250. So you would be having a 20% discount on that $75, which would equate to roughly a $15 reduction. And instead of paying 75, you would pay 60 from an out-of-pocket expense using that example, okay? But if you're in the exclusive collection, so in lieu of the allowance, the allowance doesn't matter. If it's in the exclusive collection, it's gonna be covered in full, okay? So you have no out-of-pocket expense for any of those frames. Again, one of the biggest advantages, in my opinion, of our Davis network, no one really in the industry offers that, and I think it's a tremendous value. It's helped me personally uh, as of last week in, in saving a, a number of, a, a significant amount of money for, for my, my six-year-old son. Um, if you went out of network for that, you're going to have a $70 allowance. Anything on top of that is going to be 100% out of pocket on you on the out of network side. We talked about the frequency. Again, high plan, big difference each year, contacts and frames. Uh, low plan is going to be one or the other, on fr so frames every 24 months. Okay, so lens options. The standard lens options I talked about before, those are going to be covered in full. But and if you have, uh, but there's a number of enhancements that you can get on your lenses. They're listed here on the left side under the benefit type. So whether it's progressive, whether it's UV coating, tints, any reflective coating, uh, blue light filtering, polarized lenses, high index lenses, those are enhancements. So there is going to be what's called a MOOP, a maximum uh, member out of pocket cost amount that's associated with each of those. There's too many to list, so it's really tough to list them out on the slide, and your certificate would have all of these. But they could be zero. That would be the maximum. They could be $5, $10, $15, $9, depending upon what enhancement you're looking about, it's going to vary, okay? So that would be something that you would have the advantage of this MOOP, this maximum allowable charge, basically, that would be the worst case for that lens option, depending upon the provider you're going to, they can't charge more than that amount. And that is going to be a significantly discounted amount versus someone that's walking in without the insurance for that, to that same provider, okay? If it's an out-of-network situation, if it's a progressive lens, it's $50 allowance, um, for, uh, uh, and that's in whatever the allowance is, whatever you get is gonna be applied to the allowance and creating a higher out-of-pocket expense. Um, and again, really trying to stay in network if you're going to enroll in the vision program. <clears throat> okay, so contact lenses, last piece here. The fitting and evaluation is standard and premium is covered in full, okay? Covered in full. There's no cost to get that fitting and evaluation. You pay your $25 uh, materials copay, and then you're covered uh, for your elective lenses, and most contacts are gonna fall in that elective category because they're not necessary contacts you're choosing versus in lieu of glasses that you just don't wanna wear glasses. And that's where a majority of contact lenses are gonna fall in that elective category. High plan covered at $175 allowance, low plan up to 130. Anything different on top of that would be an out-of-pocket expense. Covered up on the out-of-network side up to $105 allowance and every uh, you can get the contact lenses every 12 months um, uh, on, on both plans, unless you're getting frames in that same year if you're on the low plan. Necessary contacts covered in full, uh, in-network and out-of-network uh, up to a $210 allowance. There's a number of enhancements. So the additional lens enhancements, I talked about the discount there, but if you're getting an additional discount, on, there's an additional discount on glasses, for example. If you go to VisionWorks and you wanna get a second pair, so if you have, like my son, using his example last week, first time glasses, got him frames, but he also needs sports rec specs. So we were able to get a significant discount on that second pair, even though the second pair wasn't covered, 100% out of pocket, it was a 50% discount at VisionWorks, which is substantial. Depending upon each provider, they're contracted a little differently, but um, we're seeing, you know, most providers are gonna be 20, 30, and, and VisionWorks has got a special arrangement at 50% off. There's also vision correction. So we have a thousand different uh, providers that you can go to if you're looking for laser vision correction that is gonna give you roughly a 50% discount on the national average for those costs. So a great way to save there if that's something you're considering. 
There's also Hearing Discounts, a national hearing network of hearing care professionals featuring uh, your hearing network. Uh, offers the Davis uh, members discounts on service, hearing aids, and accessories. These discounts uh, would be verified at the, at, the, at the place you are purchasing. I mentioned the breakage warranty, all glasses, a one-year breakage warranty. Talked about the, la uh, the LASIK vision, the convenience, the savings that you can get over a thousand, a thousand different network providers that we have included uh, um, for the LASIK services, and again, up to a 50% national average uh, savings um, versus going to a you know, standard traditional uh, LASIK provider without the insurance. Okay, so that uh, concludes the vision part of the presentation. Now I'll introduce Susanna, who will be uh, taking us through the Aura Identity Theft and Protection Product Program. Thanks so much, Keith. Good morning, everyone. My name is Susanna Nikaj, and I'm a Product Director with Aura, and I'm here to discuss the um, offering that you're getting, which is our Identity and Fraud Protection brought to you by MetLife. If you can see here, we do everything online these days, right? We work online, we bank online, we shop online. If you have children like I do, I have a 13-year-old son and a 9-year-old daughter. They live their lives online as well. If you check out the stats here, every 14 seconds, someone's identity is stolen. A total of $52 billion in financial fraud was lost in 2021 alone. There is a massive industry of companies that collect and sell our data for profit. And sometimes that, and that data and that information get in the wrong hands. And children and seniors are the most vulnerable. One in 50 children fall victim of ID theft each year. In fact, in 2020, for the first time in history, we actually lost more due to digital crime than we did to home burglary. And in 2021, that number doubled from 3.3 billion to 6.9 billion. MetLife identified the need of offering a robust solution to their customers, given that fact that we are always connected. The average user is online seven hours or more a day with 100 accounts or more. So your information is already out there and it is no longer a question of if my personal information will get stolen, but truly a matter of when and what are we doing to protect it. So what we need more than ever in the same age is a proactive solution that is frictionless and comprehensive for the user and really more importantly, providing a safer internet for everyone. And in order for employees to utilize a solution, we believe that it has to be simple and conveniently accessible. And that is why we are heavily focused on offering the broadest protection in the marketplace under one solution, one app. Not only are we protecting and monitoring your identity, but we're also protecting your financial health by monitoring your credit and assets. We're also proactively removing your data and information from data brokers that collect and sell our information for a profit. Employees will also have the ability to monitor their children's devices along with protecting them from online bullies and predators and with our parental control features and capabilities. Seniors who happen to be the most vulnerable when it comes to cybercrime, we're giving caregivers um, and trusted family members um, the ability to keep a pulse on senior family members, digital safety by receiving threat alerts on their behalf, securely sharing files and also credentials. And also with our password managers, we will identify weak reuse and passwords that are found in data breach or dark web. We're also protecting your devices along the way. Each employee will have antivirus protection for their devices and their own personal VPN for all their devices. And we provide each employee with a white glove experience. So our customer support is all US based and available 24 seven, 365 days of the year. If something were to occur, each employee will have a dedicated case manager to assist them along the way, plus a $5 million insurance policy per adult. So along with offering the broadest protection under one solution, part of our focus truly was removing the chaos from quite a fragmented market, as you can see here on the screen. Our sole mission with MetLife was to remove the burden for the employees to have to navigate through all of this chaos. We offer a seamless solution with complete protection. We are the only provider in the marketplace to offer one solution, one bill, one mobile app. And we've simplified the chaos of digital security by not only consolidating multiple tools, as you can see here, but we're combining it all under one app. But also, we're also leveraging automation and artificial intelligence to do the work for you wherever and whenever possible. So intelligent safety truly is the new standard when it comes to digital security. 
So what do I mean by that? Ford does things in a smart, simple way. We're not only proactively, we're not only taking a proactive approach, but we're also providing preventative solutions along the way. So from the moment a customer enrolls with Aura, we automatically start monitoring an employee's credit, start web monitoring, uh, removal of information from data brokers without the employee having to take any further steps. Along with the ability of auto monitoring, we will work on behalf of the employee wherever possible. So typically most solutions out in the market will alert an employee when something occurs and will provide guidelines on how to make changes, putting that work on the employee. And now the race is really on to unwind the damage already done. With Aura, we are not only going to alert you, but we will also provide proactive measurements to keep you safe. And a great example of this is removing your information from data brokers. Most solutions will let you know, hey, your information is out there and there's hundreds of data brokers. Here are some guidelines on how you can remove your information from these data brokers. And keep in mind, there's a reinsertion period of every 30 to 60 days with these brokers where your information will reappear. With Aura, we will automatically monitor and remove your information without you having to take any further steps. As mentioned earlier, seniors and minors are the most vulnerable when it comes to cybercrime, and we are heavily focused on family protection. With our family plan, employees can invite 10 adults. There is zero restriction on those who adults are. So it could be your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, your best friend across the street, and each adult will have their own full feature portal along with their own $5 million insurance policy. Employees on a family plan can add an unlimited number of minors for monitoring as well. So I usually have all of my nieces and nephews that I monitor. If you can see here, Aura is regularly acknowledged and highly rated by both users and industry experts. We are one of the highest rated apps by actual users in the App Store with a 4.6 star rating. And a lot of that has to do with how seamless and robust our product is. We have been rated number one by industry experts from Money Magazine to Digital Protection Review. We won Best Security Business by Inc. Magazine and named a Mom's Choice Award Gold recipient in both family-friendly apps and software category. And we are rated best overall in a recent mystery shopper that was conducted last year that has similar solutions to Aura. And to add on to that mystery shopper that was conducted by a third party, we came on top, including overall fastest, um, alert speed detection, best uh, user experience, and most likelihood to buy. We are exclusively a focus on innovation. Aura's mission truly is to make the internet a safer place for everyone, regardless of age. That means continuously innovating and developing features that help stop fraud before it can even occur. Uh, we also believe that innovation shouldn't come with a price tag. That is why we add new features to our plants at zero additional cost. We launched over 50 new features in 2023 alone. And some of those features that were launched is our AI-powered tax and call screening. We help reduce the risk of falling victims to phishing attempts by screening and quarantining incoming calls and texts from unknown numbers. Um, we launched our family sharing ability, which allows you the ability to really keep a pulse on everyone's digital safety. So family account members can share files, account credentials, and threat alerts in a safe, secure way. Our Smart Vault is live where employees and families can securely store and share sensitive data, digital files, and passwords in a safe, secure way. We will automatically enable monitoring and alerts for all financial and personal information stored in the Smart Vault as well. And coming soon, um, 2024, is our integration with MetLife Legal. We're truly excited about this. There's obviously natural synergies between MetLife Legal and Aura, which would help employees safely navigate life's most important planned and unplanned events. And just to give you some guide, uh, some examples of what that integration would look like, for instance, if you're completing, if you currently have a MetLife legal plan in place and you're completing digital state um, documents, when an employee completes their digital state planning documents, Aura would prompt them to use, uh, would prompt the user to load um, that in that those documents into vaults for secure sharing via our browser extension. And when you do share those documents on our Aura vault, we'll also scan on the dark web to make sure your personal information is not appearing out there. When it comes to buying a home, another great example, when Aura detects a new mortgage inquiry, the employee would be prompted with the option 
to utilize MetLife legal uh, plan for attorneys that specialize in real estate. Another great example is Money Matters. Um, when an employee has an actual, when an employee has an account on their credit file that is over 90 days delinquent, the user would be prompted with the option to utilize the MetLife legal um, for assistance. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the portion of my slide. What I will do now is go through the demo of what the user experience would look like. Susanna, there was a question that came through regarding this, if this covers home deeds. Yeah, so we do cover, so for our or uh, product, um, auto vehicle monitoring and home title monitoring is um, covered. Thank you so much. That's all the questions so far that I know regarding the warrant. Okay, hopefully you guys have the ability to view my screen. Keith, can you see my screen? Thumbs up? Yes, I, I can. All good. All right, great. All right, now I'll walk you through an employee experience with the demo environment with Aura. Employees have the ability to view this on web-based or mobile app, so you will have a seamless experience in both options. Employees will have, um, so typically other solutions that are currently in the marketplace list that they have features like VPN and password manager as part of their plans. However, typically what happens is you are asked to download a multiple mobile app to um, utilize these features or even be directed to a third party tool resulting truly in a disjointed experience. And if, you, if you're asked to download multiple apps, the utilization is gonna be quite low. So with Aura, our focus was to offer everything under one solution, one app. And as you can see here, our design is quite intentional and twofold. Anything that requires critical alerts will be here on top. And anything that is a critical alert, you'll receive it in multiple ways. You'll receive it on your aura notification. You'll receive a text with, uh, you'll receive a text from aura, and you'll also receive an email from aura. So you will be notified in multiple, multiple ways. On the bottom here, You'll also have an ongoing activity feed, which will include what has occurred, FYI, what features still have not been utilized yet. And on the right, right hand side here is what we call our safety check checklist. Some of our features are automatically activated without employee having to do anything. Again, that goes to our data broker features, um, uh, credit monitoring, um, and your social security number. Some of our features that are not automated and require some steps, we will notify you here. Again, the goal is to drive feature utilization. The more engaged employees are, the more protected they will be. As much as possible, we're gonna remove the thinking on behalf of the employee. Um, so if you see here, when it comes to family plans, as I mentioned, you can add 10 adults. They don't have to live in the same household as you. When you add an adult, you send them an email and then they would register on their own and will receive their own dashboard along with their own $5 million insurance policy. And you can add minors here under the age of 18 and you can add an unlimited number of minors on the family plan. So we really wanna focus on team effort when it comes to family plan. Um, here on your family, you have the ability to um, share alerts with family members. Um, credit alerts, transaction alerts, I can pick and choose which alerts I wanna share with whom. You can request access as well to have to get those alerts from family members. Again, this is all optional. Once you do share, you can always resend back. And when it comes to children, um, you have the ability to lock their, or freeze, freeze their credit with all three credit bureaus. You also have parental control features and capabilities. Um, and you also have the ability to protect your, so your kids' um, social media accounts from predators and cyberbullying. Here is live your transaction monitoring, which really protects your financial accounts from fraud by notifying you of any large purchases, cash withdrawals, and balance transfers. This also really simplifies your life by connecting all your credit cards and bank accounts, 401ks, HSA accounts, under one unified platform, but at Aura, we take one step further. If an employee forgets to attach a credit account or a bank account during the onboarding process, we will prompt you to monitor those additional accounts. 
So the, again, the idea is to really remove the thinking on behalf of the employee. So if you forget to um, add a bank account, we will identify those accounts and if optional, if you wish to start um, linking those accounts and automatically transaction monitoring will begin. Now, when we come here to our credit or its credit monitoring is actually quite powerful. Uh, it's one of the most powerful in the marketplace as or is the only one directly connected to all three credit bureaus. So typically what happens is a lot of solutions are either connected to one or two and then rely on batch data for the remaining um, for the remaining information, which can lead to lag time. So because we're directly connected to all three, you, you're going to get you're really going to receive real time alerts when something does occur and not 48 hours or 72 hours later. Um, you also have the ability to lock your credit with Experian, which is happens to be the largest of all three credit bureaus. It's as easy, you can lock or unlock your credit just one with one click of a button. You also have the ability here um, to, um, to track your credit score um, and see where you stand. And a new feature that we actually launched for 2020-23 is our credit score simulator. And this really is a great tool uh, where you can just explore some decisions you make and how it will affect your credit. If you were to purchase a new credit card, how will that affect your credit? Will it help it or would it hurt your credit? We also protect, we also provide antivirus and VPN protection. Each employee will have malware protection. Malware protection is essential antivirus software. Um, so that, that will be covered across all devices. And we also have your own personal VPN, which is a virtual private network that we offer. We all use public Wi-Fi, whether we're at the airport, at a cafe, or at a hotel. And it's a surefire way to really expose your devices, online activity, and personal information to hackers and trackers. So with one click, your online data is protected and your real IP address is hidden. So you can continually shop, bank, and stream online privately and really keep those hackers and trackers at bay. And then you have um, social media monitoring where, you, where we can protect your family's accounts with round the clock monitoring and alerts. So if something suspicious happens, you'll know what to do. We will scan your feeds, incoming notifications, and account activity for threats that range from hacking to cyberbullying. And it's really easy with one click of a button. It will drive you to your social media accounts and monitoring will automatically begin. Now, the features that we launched, some of the features that we launched here is really our vault. So our digital vault is your central hub for personal information, documents that will be stored, monitored, and shared. Personal information will be monitored on the dark web as well. So when it comes to data privacy or personal data, this feature is all about your identity monitoring, it covers everything from dark web marketplaces, public records, and new accounts being open using your information and also data brokers. We also, so anything you add here on your watch list, we will automatically start monitoring from bank accounts to credit card numbers, even your health ID card and dental ID card. We also monitor your home and vehicle title as well. And this is where our data broker removal um, sits. If you can see here, uh, we remove, we'll inform you how many, how many um, data brokers were removed, your information were removed from data brokers. You can see here, it was 188. We automatically go and request your information to be removed and we will continuously monitor these data brokers um, to make sure your information does not reappear and if it does we will automatically do it so it's really a set it and forget it for you you don't have to take any further steps um, here is our password manager um, our, I think our password manager is great happens to be one of my favorite um, tools um, so you, if you currently utilize a password manager, you have the option to import those passwords onto the Aura password manager. We also identify passwords that are weak, reused, or passwords that are found on the breach. And because Aura is one engine, if we find your password in the dark web, we will notify you of the breach and prompt you to change your password. Not only are we going to prompt you to change your password, we're also going to suggest a strong password on your behalf. So when you go onto the Breach website, or if you want to change a reused or weak pa pa uh, or password, 
we will suggest a strong one for you. All you have to do is hit save and it will be saved across all of your devices. You also have the ability, we also launched email masking this year. It's another feature we launched, um, which is great and it works, it works with the password manager. Email masking allows employees to control who has access to their email address. And again, it really prevents needless, in, uh, needless emails and spam e emails that you get. And also, if an institution experiences a breach, they don't have your real email address as your real e email address is hidden. And when it comes to my documents, another tool that I absolutely love here, you have the ability to scan personal documents, whether it's your doctor records, your living will, your life insurance policy. This is where the MetLife legal plan really integrates and works well with Aura. Any MetLife legal plan documents that you have, like your, willing, your, your living will, it will automatically suggest that you scan and store those documents on Aura document. And then you have the ability to share these documents with your family and your loved ones. Um, and it's just a great way. And any, any documents that you, do, that you do store, we will continuously monitor on the dark web to make sure your personal information is not out there. Any questions? All right, I'm going to share with my screen really quick again. And here are the um, two plans that are being offered. You have the protection plan. That is more of our base plan. There are some key differentiators when it comes to credit monitoring um, and also the devices being covered. So on our protection plan, it's two devices per adult that we will monitor for antivirus and VPN. With a protection plus plan, it's an unlimited number of my uh, unlimited number of devices that we cover. And then some other differentiators is when it comes to credit monitoring, it's one B credit monitoring with protection, or with the protection plus, it's three B credit monitoring. Um, you also lose the ability to lock your credit with the protection plan. That is a plan that is an option that's only offered on the protection plus plan. And some of the other key differentiators is really the social media account monitoring and takeovers. And I know I just mentioned the new feature that we launched this year, which is our AI powered call and text screening. That will only be available on the protection plus plan, but both plans will have the $5 million insurance policy and the customer the white glove experience if something were to ever occur. All right, any questions before I hand it back to Keith? Shannon, I know you mentioned that, um, and thank you, Susanna. Uh, I know, Shannon, you mentioned that there might be a couple questions that came in directly to, directly to Carrie. Um, I can't see those, uh, but glad to answer those now. Um, I have one question in the chat, which, which is back to um, the, I know you already answered that once, Susanna. It was in regards to a home feed and adding that. So I know that question was answered, and I know the answer was yes, correct? Uh, to be able to do that. Um, there was a question on the vision side around searching for network providers. We'll provide that after the, um, you can search for a provider today. You can, there's two different avenues to do that. We'll make sure that that's provided as a follow-up on how to search for a provider rather than me listing it off now. I think that's probably the best way to approach the, the uh, how to search for a provider under the Davis Vision Network. Um, the other question was around uh, 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 Lens Crafters and Warby Parker. Are they in network? Lens Crafters, I have to check on. I do not believe so. Uh, Warby Parker, we're actually we're working on an arrangement with them right now. So more to come there. Right now, they're not. There again. There's we have about three to four other online um, you know vision providers that you can go to for frames and and. Uh, obviously, from a contact standpoint as well, uh, but uh, Warby Parker is not one currently, but uh, I, I, there, that, uh, that may be changing shortly. Those are the only questions that I can see, Shannon. Um, and the other question was, does the $35 on slide 11 include Davis Vision member costs? That does not, because the premium 
uh, is going to vary depending upon your tier election. So that is a good point um, and, and one, to, one to note is your, your premium on a monthly basis. If for a single, if you run the high plan, it's about 445 per, per month. Um, so pretty small premium amount from an employee only perspective on the high plan and the low plan, it's $3 and, and, and change just to give you an idea of what that cost is. And of course, when you're going through your enrollment experience, that of course is gonna be built in what that cost would be depending upon the tier election. So that does not include that, but you're still saving. And you know, if you're talking about $4 per month, um, you know, $48 difference, you're still talking 70, probably 70% 70 savings, 75% savings versus the 90% that I, that I referenced. Thank you so much, Keith. I believe that's all the questions that I see in the chat. Okay. Um, it looks like there's one, my in-laws did not utilize text or email. Are they still at risk? And how would we manage monitoring for them? So that question, Suzanne, is for you on the ORA side. My in-laws do not utilize text or email. Are they still at risk? And how do we and, and how would we manage monitoring them? So as far as text or email, if they don't have a text or email, then that's something that they wouldn't would not need to be monitored. But with our AI call and text screening, individuals still get spam calls that come in. So if they have a phone and they're getting those phone calls. What would typically happen if, they, if, if the number comes in that is not recognizable, our bot will answer on behalf of them and it will determine if it's a legitimate call or not. If it's a legitimate call, the call will go through. If it's not a legitimate call, our bot will not let it go through and um, there'll be a transfer, a transcript of what that call looked like and who was trying to reach you. Um, if they have any social security numbers, their phone numbers, whether it's their home phone or their cell phone, will be monitored on their on their data privacy section. Yeah, and I, I just would say to anyone for even if they do not use email, they're still at risk for identity being taken. Social security number. Uh, my my brother had a, there's a tax scam around the IRS that he someone filed taxes before he filed them. Uh, where my brother was an uh, incident to that, so that was nothing due to email exposure there. Um, it can be from doc, you know, it, it could be from a uh, doctor's office records or sometimes accessed that way. Uh, so even if you're not putting the information out there, your information is still out there in a number of different ways, and the uh, you know the MetLife Aura program can help protect uh, protect there. Uh, there looked like it was a question around um, spousal coverage for Aura. And I know the answer, I can answer that one. And yes, you can include your spouse. There's a choice at uh, enrollment if you wanna just protect yourself for employee or if you want your full family. And, and as, um, as was mentioned by Susanna, that, that, that full family is very a liberal definition on what that means and who can be included, um, less strict than what you would typically see from a medical or you know, dental, uh, dental plan. Is the benefit um, I, portable? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Susanna. It is portable. And especially as it relates to the password manager feature. Yeah, you have the ability to, if, if you, if the whole dashboard is portable and you also have the option, if you currently have a password manager in place um, to transfer those passwords onto Aura or you can take those passwords. If you choose to leave Aura, you can, whatever passwords are in your current password manager with Aura, you can transfer to another vendor. Okay, so I think that covers what we saw from the chat. Um, I think Suzanne, go ahead. Here, Keith, um, someone asked um, regarding security, especially given the fact that there's so much sensitive documents and um, information in one place. As I mentioned earlier, your information is already out there with bank accounts, credit card accounts, data brokers have all of your information. So it, it, the beauty of it is all of that is being monitored under one unified platform. Also, we follow military grade encryption. We have the same security as, you know, the top, top uh, military individuals or has never experienced the breach. We've been in business for over 25 years and never experienced the breach. We follow strict, strict security guidelines as to who, who has our information. It's also why it's super important that we don't work with any PPAs. Um, when it comes to certain features and capabilities, everything is owned by Aura. And that's why it's super important that we don't um, 
have multiple apps and multiple solutions and work with multiple vendors. Um, this way everything is locked in and only a certain amount of people can utilize that information. Um, I also see a question here when it comes to VPN. That VP VPN antivirus protection, everything the employee receives, all the features and capabilities the employee receives, when you invite an adult, um, they will have the same exact features and capabilities and $5 million insurance policy. So yes, when it comes to the VPN that is available, that VPN protection will be available to all 10 adults. My minors, so my children who are 13 and nine, they have, they have iPads and um, their, their, their laptops. I do add the antivirus protection and VPN protection on their devices as well. Okay. I think that's any, do you see any other questions out there, Susanna? No, I love the engagement. Thank you all for your questions. Okay. All right, so uh, home stretch here. Uh, we'll, we're going to cover the pet insurance now um, on from the MetLife side. And again, if any questions pop up, feel free to enter them into the, sh the chat, and we'll uh, we'll we'll address them after the uh, after we conclude this section of the presentation. Okay, so the need for pet insurance, right? We saw due uh, during COVID. Um, I guess because of a loneliness, uh, from a loneliness standpoint, there were many, many first time pet owners uh, that came from the pandemic. We saw 2.4 million dogs and cats adopted from shelters between January and November in 2020 alone. So pet ownership is on the rise. Uh, we saw that again due to the pandemic and continuing, uh, continuing that trend. Once that Anyone that's a pet owner um, is out there. Once that pet is, is introduced to the family, it becomes part of the family. Um, and and just like with a child, I have three kids, but I also have two cats as well. You know, sometimes you put your 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 your, your kids, you put your you put your pets as well ahead of your own needs. Sometimes when it comes to spending, 52% of pet parents spend more on their pets than they do on themselves. Um, and willing to do, and willing to go to great lengths to make sure that they are keeping those pets healthy. Um, and one third of pet parents said that they usually end up exceeding their budget by at least $500 whenever they take their pet to the vet. And if anyone's been to the vet lately without insurance, I was one of those folks. It is very, very expensive. Maybe not as much as major medical is, and for for on the human side, but you're talking about similar testing. Whether it's uh, you know X-rays, whether it's a uh, ultrasounds, things like that. So those are uh, extremely costly, um, and even just for a preventative wellness checkup, hundreds of dollars each time you step in the door. At least that's been my experience uh, on my side. Okay, so with the Met Parents Pet Insurance, there's a couple things that that, that I to remember here. One, we make things simple and flexible. Uh, for you to choose a plan that's right for you. So you have a lot of flexibility on how you design the plan for yourself. And it's inclusive of covering the essential needs, which are going to be your cancer, diabetes, ear infections, uh, pancreatitis, hip dysplasia, and, and much more. Then you have your wellness side, right? Your wellness checks of fleas, ticks, spray, neuter, heartworm, behavioral training, teeth cleaning, and then there's even sophisticated care, like laser therapy, holistic care, acupuncture, hydrotherapy, IVDD, grief counseling, also covered. And there's many policy features like telehealth, mortality benefits, lost pet coverage, boarding fees, coverage, uh, partner rewards, and deductible savings, all in one benefit. And one point that's very important is for anyone that currently has pet insurance today, something has, may have come up while you've been insured which now may be considered a pre-existing condition if you were to go to another carrier. Well, the great thing with the MetLife plan, if you have coverage today and that situation, uh, whatever that condition is, if it's covered under your current plan, it will be covered under MetLife's plan without any of pre-existing conditions for that specific, those, that specific condition that, that may have arose, okay? So again, coverage includes exam fees, diagnostic, pre, pre, prescription medication, previously covered, pre-existing covered co conditions when you're switching carriers. Next slide. I'm talking a little fast because we're running short on time, so I want to make sure we, we hit these final points. Um, no breach. So what's what's unique about the MetLife pet insurance? A lot of carriers have pulled back coverage, not allowing you to get certain policy limits that used to be in place, um, and and have certain breed exclusion upper age limits. With the MetLife plan, there's no breed exclusions. There's no upper age limits. Um, so no one would be excluded from a pet standpoint. 
coverage for the previously covered pre-existing conditions. We just talked about that. Not something to worry about when you're switching to the MetLife side. That would be something that would be covered if it was covered under your current, uh, your current carrier. Only provider offering family plans, so you can have multiple pets covered under one policy, and you get discounts for that. So if you have a dog and a cat, or a second dog, or you have a bird too, you can include that into one policy to get additional discount to maximize the plan. You can add a preventative care benefit. It's included in your annual benefit limit as well. We do a lot of pet insurance, not gonna spend a lot of time here, but we're one of the leaders in the, in, in the pet insurance market. We've seen four times the growth in policies in the last two years. We have over 1,200 employer clients. $40 million in paid claims in 2022, 20 years of experience, very high net promoter score. And we, these are reimbursement plans, meaning you go to any vet that's a licensed vet in the U.S. There's no network to go to. As long as it's a licensed vet in the U.S., you submit your claim, it's paid within 10 business days or less. If you do it online, it's usually paid in a much less of time, but 100% of claims processed uh, last year were, uh, were, were processed within 10 business days or less. Okay, so types of policies. I mentioned flexibility. So when you are gonna have two different ways you get a quote, this is an individual policy that's gonna be, and the costs are gonna be based upon your individual needs. If it's a dog, a cat, the type of breed, where you live, okay, um, the age of that, that pet, those are the things that are gonna go into what that cost is and also the plan designs. So you're gonna have flexibility on the benefit limits, 500 to $25,000, okay, or you can even do an unlimited plan as well, unlimited annual limit. There's deductibles, which range from zero to 2,500. Again, you can structure it however you see fit. Uh, 50 to 90% reimbursement. So if you had a 90% reimbursement plan, if it's, a covered, if it's a covered condition or a covered service, whatever the situation may be, you submit your claim and 90% of that cost would be paid, which would be reimbursed to you, 90% of that total bill, okay? You can include wellness visits to be included or not. Again, can, building that plan to fit your needs. Um, and what we see is the most popular plan, $5,000 benefit limit, deductible of $250 annually, 90% reimbursement, and, included, uh, and including the wellness visit. Also see 70%, but 70 to 90% is what we see as most common from a reimbursement. Just to give you an idea of the premium cost and what that looks like, on a yearly basis, if you have a two-year-old mixed breed dog, $500 and $600 a year in premium for this coverage, which is a $5,000 benefit, 90% replacement. And you will not see a plan that's this rich in the, and from, I don't believe many or if any other carriers in the market, a lot of them have scaled this back uh, significantly. Um, and so a two-year-old mixed cat, $300 to $400 in premium uh, for, that, for that cat. So to, to get a quote, you can either do it online. Uh, this would be on the Prestige PEO portal from an enrollment standpoint. You put in your zip code, species, age, uh, type of breed of pet. You select the policy, the, the policy options we just talked about, the design that you want, and then you're getting a significantly discounted cost, discount for being a group customer, discounting also if, you have a, if you're a healthcare worker, military, first responder, additional discount, there's an internet discount, there's a multi-policy discount, again, building that those discounts up to help you save this program other than under the most of your benefits is a evergreen product a product that you can enroll in any time during the year it is also direct build this is not a payroll deducted product so it'd be something you choose to take advantage when the time is right for you starting on 11 1 of 2023 or any time in 2000 for the rest of the year in 23 or 24 you could get a quote and bind that coverage the day of that you make that call or online. Um, and so you can do it at any time. This is something that does not, is not an election that falls during the annual open enrollment. You can do it at any time during the year. And again, it's a direct build uh, product, not payroll deducted. So portability was mentioned earlier. So yes, that is 100% portable. It's your policy to have. You're just getting a discounted cost that you would not be able to get on your own. And that concludes the, the, the uh, um, prepared part of the presentation. Um, I'm gonna dig back into the chat here to see if any final questions came through. But you can view the today's presentation and video recording by going onto the prestigepeo.com open enrollment website. 
you can um, and and Shannon, I don't know if you want to jump in here is talking about the different uh, resources available to uh, the folks that have joined the call uh, to get additional information about the plans. Sure, I did see one question that came through in the chat. Uh, if the insurance stops coverage at any specific age, uh, this particular person said many. This is for the pet. Yeah. Age. Yes, no, they do not. There's no upper age limits. Do not stop the coverage. That's something that, again, is somewhat of a differentiator from what we've seen in the pet industry. A lot of carriers have started to reduce that upper age limits, certain breed exclusions, and also reducing that reimbursement amount. So we do not stop uh, at, at age 10. And for the quote that you can do online, will it also tell you the discount if you enroll multiple pets? I'm sorry, I said that one more time, Shane, you broke up a little bit. If you go online, I, I heard the first part, I just didn't get the second. Uh, if, if you are trying to enroll multiple pets, does the online feature indicate a, the discount? Yeah, that would automatically be calculated in if you were doing a quote for multiple pets, that monthly policy discount would be built into that cost. Um, I don't know if it actually shows what that discount is right when you do the selection, if you were doing it from an online standpoint, uh, but there is the, the discount I referenced on the, for, for that multi-policy discount, as you would see from an auto and home as well, like a bundling discount. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Keith and Susanna for this informative presentation. And thank you to everyone for joining us. You can view this webinar recording and access important open enrollment information at our Open Enrollment Resource Center, www.prestigepeo.com slash open enrollment. Finally, remember to download our Prestige Go mobile app for access to your benefits information and support from your HR team members on the go. Thank you all, and we'll see you next time.